Hey everybody, this is a video to show how to hand in work in my computer science classes, specifically the computer science 30 and 40s classes that are working in Java and working in Adobe, or pardon me, in NetBeans to develop their Java solutions. Let's take a look at how to do this. So before we dive into the program, what's important is when I get work handed in in computer science, I really need to see two things. One, I need to see the development process, how you arrived at your solution. This is similar to showing your work, for example, in a math class or showing a draft in an English class of an essay. So I need to see the development process. So that really means your code. The second thing I need to see is essentially the finished product or the fact that it works. So in math class, that would be your final answer. In English class, that would be your final essay. Um, but for computer science, that would be evidence that it runs and that it works. So what does that mean? That means I need screen captures of it running. And in something later like the final project, it would mean like a screen video, but not really for assignments. Okay, so I'm gonna need very simply some screen captures and the code. Now it's the code that's a little tricky because if you take the code, which is just text-based, and place it in programs where it reformats the code, changes the color, changes the font, changes the style. It loses the development process. So when I see the code, I want to see it looking, <coughs> excuse me, the way it looked when you wrote it. Okay, so let's get started and I'll show you how to do this. So let's say I have a simple program like this and it works, it's all commented, ready for hand in. The first thing I'm going to do is my screen captures. So I'm going to run this program and start taking screen captures. In the 30 and 40s course, you need to decide how many or how few screen captures you want to take. That's actually part of your mark. You need to provide me with the evidence. If you give me too few, it will affect your mark. Okay? I don't feel like giving me too many would affect your mark, but that's just going to take more time for you. So really, you want to do that optimum amount of screen captures to give me the evidence that it works. So I'm going to take a screen capture of this. There are lots of ways you can take screen captures. There's special programs that can do this. Built into Windows, for example, there's one called the Snipping Tool. A lot of students like to use that one. Nothing wrong with that one. You can click New, and you can drag and create a screen image like that. I, I personally don't think that's necessary because built into Microsoft Windows, you can take screen captures by holding down Alt and pressing Print Screen, or in some programs, you have to hold on a little Function button as well. That will take a screen capture of the active window, and then you can go and rather than save each of these as individual images, what I'd like you to do is paste or put images into something like a Microsoft Word document. It doesn't have to be a Word document. It could be literally anything. But I'm just going to hit Paste, and that image just gets placed into the Word document. And then I can place another picture right beside it. So now I can jump back, take my next screen capture, jump over here and paste it in. I don't need you to format the Word document. I don't need you to move the images around. You certainly can do that. But that's not a requirement. This isn't a graphics course. I just need the evidence that it runs. Take the screen capture, bring it over, paste it in. Take the screen capture, bring it over, paste it in. OK, I think that's enough. That's given me enough screen captures that I think that's provided the evidence I need for the first part. So now I need to save this document, whether it's a Word document or a Google Doc or whatever it is. So I'm going to go to File and Save As. I'm going to put it a place where I can find it. So I'm going to just, for example, put it on the desktop. Now, the next thing that's important, when you hand in files for me to mark, I need to know they're coming from you. So the name of the file needs to match your name. So for example, if my name is John Smith, that's what I should call this thing, is John Smith. Now, I can add more than that. Okay, for example, I could say this is Unit 1, Problem 1. This is my outputs. Like, I could certainly add all this stuff, too. This might be helpful for you in the future. So if you're looking for your old work, it'll make sense what you're looking for. And it's not just your name. But your name, to me, is the most important thing. So I know that this file is coming from you. 
if you don't put your name on it, I'm essentially not going to be able to market. Also, don't get too lazy. Don't just put your first name and assume I know it's from you. First name and last name. Okay, so I'll hit save. So now that's done. My outputs are done. Now I need to prepare the code for handing. So in the past, I've shown different ways to do this, but this, this way now I find is absolutely the easiest for you as a student. To prepare your code for handed, right from NetBeans, you want to go to File, and then from File, you're going to go to Print to HTML. File, Print to HTML. Let's do that now. This little dialog box will appear. It's not a great dialog box. It's a little old school. It, it does have a browse button where you can pick where the file's being saved, and that's important, right? Because you don't want to just place it wherever and then not be able to find it. It has some check boxes here. Uh, honestly, those don't really matter to me if you leave them checked off or not leave them checked off, but I honestly don't need, for example, the line numbers to show. So if I was to make any recommendation, I would say just uncheck them. I don't need them checked off. So I'm going to click Browse. I'm going to once again go to somewhere like my desktop, and I'm going to name it again. So I'm naming it is important. And what's important is that I put my name into the name of this file. Now, I can add other stuff if I want, but what's really important, this has to be there, that your name is in the name of the file. And then I'm going to click OK and OK. So now sitting on my desktop should be the two files ready for me to hand in, right? The outputs and the code, essentially. If I have to rename them at this point, I certainly can. I can rename them, right? So maybe I want to call this one code, right? And maybe I just want to call this one, maybe I don't want it quite as wordy, outputs. Oops. Okay, so now I have two files ready for hand in. What's next? Well, now, as you may already know, you go to my website to get to my hand-in page. So even from the main page of my website, there is a link to the hand-in page available. If you are on your individual course, like Computer Science 30S, there is a link to the hand-in page right on the main page. If you're on the assignments page, and that's where you're working, there is a link to the hand-in page at the top of the page. Or if you're further down the page and working in a unit like methods or arrays or whatever, there's often links to the hand-in page right within the unit itself. So I've made lots of links to get to this hand-in page. What you might want to do is actually bookmark that page so that it's easy for you to get to in the future. Once you get to the hand-in page, you need to add the files that you're going to be handing in. So let's click that next. Add file, get this little dialog box open up, you can literally drag and drop the files into here, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this Browse button, go to my desktop. There are the two files. I can do them one at a time, like this. Click Open. It'll upload the file. Then if I need to, I can add another file, and I can do the same thing. Maybe this time I'll drag and drop it. So I'll go over here, Oops. and I'll select these and drag and drop them on here. And then if I made a mistake and I added a file I don't need, I can also click the little X right here and get rid of it. And then I just hit Submit. And that's it. Your files are handed in. So you hand in your work. If you have any questions, email me or come see me. Have a great day.